And so the, the final and most important strategy that we use to limit water usage is incorporating native plants and drought tolerant plants, which is kind of our go-to in all of our gardens. All these things kind of work together by the plants reducing demand, stormwater and gray water to maximize the water that's already here on site. And all these things work together to make the garden use the least amount of water as possible and manage the water on site as effectively as possible. And also look fantastic, create habitat value, and just be an overall good looking garden. Making the garden look good is one of the most important parts because you can sell people on the benefits of sustainability, saving water, reducing impacts on our environment, et cetera, et cetera. But if it doesn't look good, no one's gonna do it. So the key thing is to tie all these concepts together, but make it look good. And that's gonna appeal to the largest amount of people because some people are gonna be really enticed by the water savings, by the environmental benefits. But if it doesn't look good, it's really hard to sell your spouse or your friends, your family, your kids on it. So it's gotta look good. And so I really think we've achieved that with this garden and that's our goal with all of our projects.